Howdy folks. So I was going through my garage and uh, I came across uh, one of my old CRT monitors. This is a uh, Compaq QVision 210. Uh, it was manufactured in 1996, so it's uh, 20 years old by now. And uh, this thing has had a, a pretty hard life. It, it, I didn't uh, originally purchase this. Uh, this was actually given to me by a coworker uh, with a variety of other uh, CRTs. Uh, all of the rest were uh, really nice high quality Trinitrons, which I actually use. But uh, this was kind of the odd one out. Uh, it was the oldest of the bunch and um, it's huge. I, I've taken the top off of it and uh, it's about two feet long. Um, it's got a Hitachi tube in it. It's a Shadow Mask CRT. Anyway, the big thing with this is it's very, very weak. Uh, and it was dying basically when I got it. And I managed to sort of squeeze a bit more life out of it. But unfortunately, uh, it's pretty much at the end of its life. And I just wanted to take this uh, video and show what happens to CRTs when they inevitably fail uh, due to uh, basically uh, cathode deple uh, depletion. So um, just, just it's difficult for you to see this, of course, on a camera, but this picture is incredibly dim and there is very little contrast on this display, even though the contrast is cranked all the way up. Now, contrast on a CRT is actually kind of brightness and brightness is kind of contrast or kind of black level. It's kind of wonky the way, they, uh, uh, the way that the controls on a CRT work, but I'm not gonna go into that. So the contrast is all the way up. The brightness is set to uh, basically halfway, but basically the normal point. But I've cranked up the, uh, basically the gun gain to try and get any kind of visible picture out of this at all. If I had turned all of the gun gain back to normal, um, you would you would get you wouldn't probably even be able to see it. It would be so dim. And just so you get sort of a, a reference, um, you know, when you look at the two, um, my camera's doing auto exposure right now. But um, you know, a really bright picture from uh, like a laptop display versus this, it's much dimmer. But what I want to do is I want to increase the brightness control, and it's got an analog control down here. I want to increase the brightness, and I want you to watch what happens um, to uh, objects on the screen as I turn up the brightness. See, can, can you see what's happening here? It's actually starting to, to smudge, to bleed on the display. Sorry that it's strobing here. My camera doesn't want to sync to the 75 hertz uh, of this display. But you can see what starts to happen where blacks start to invert and turn white. And what what's causing this is the, the tube is actually going into, uh, it's going into saturation. Um, basically the, the, the tube it doesn't have enough emission to... Uh, to operate correctly, it's not operating in the linear region anymore because there's just not enough emissive material left on the cathode um, to uh, emit the correct uh, current, basically. And you get this this uh, <laughs> quite terrible looking effect. And uh, yeah, the picture is sort of bright enough, but uh, it looks like shit and uh, it's kind of unusable, uh, or it is unusable. And you can actually see it's even blooming off to the edge of the edge of off the edge of the image, um, and uh, yeah, so this is this is what normally you'll see this effect on uh, really old tube TVs from um, the the 40s, 50s, 60s, ones that have been used a lot. Um, I, I've never seen it on a, a, a modern TV from you know from the 90s and stuff. Normally the filaments and stuff go open, but um, yeah, this thing. Uh, this thing has uh, reached end of life, uh, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to, uh, uh, well, I'm definitely going to scrap this for parts. It's got a bunch of uh, good things in there. Of course, I can take the fly back out and uh, all the high voltage caps and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, just thought I'd uh, show that off in case anyone uh, has, has never seen that before. It is quite an interesting effect. Um, but uh, unfortunately, it's, uh, all CRTs will eventually, if they survive, you know, infant mortality and they survive not having their heaters break and stuff, eventually that will happen. So anyway, hopefully that was interesting. Thanks for watching.